Hello. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about map projections. In last lecture, we discussed about the importance of geographic coordinate system. At the end, we discussed about the process of transforming the spherical earth surface into a flat map in order to maintain some spatial relationship. So we are going to today why map projection is required, and what are the characteristics of map projections and different types of map projections. And also we are going to discuss which one need to choose, whether geography coordinate system or map projection system at the end. In addition, I will also demonstrate to you if you apply a map projection or geography coordinate system, how the map will look like. Let's start with why map projection is required. In last lecture, we discussed about the problems with the spherical coordinate system. Spherical coordinate systems are good to represent the sphere in a globe model, no doubt about it. But if you are transforming or projecting the globe into a flat surface, and definitely the poleward regions are highly distorted. The reason is at the equator, the degree of longitude is about 70 miles. But near the pole, the degree of longitude is just 70 inches. Whereas in transformation of spherical coordinate system into flat system without any projection, you are stretching the 70 inches into 70 miles, which means you are applying more number of or higher amount of distortions. And the second reason is it is not convenient to use uh, latitude and longitudes for distance or direction computations, especially for a smaller area. Say, for example, I want to project a part of city. I want to calculate distance and other properties, area and other properties. And if you have a sines and cosines, it's very difficult to calculate and very difficult to understand. So it is better to mathematically project the the spherically defined locations into a plane using a systematic transformation function. Of course, it will not happen without the, the stretching and distortions. Say for example, if you have a orange, have an orange and I want to like uh, transfer the skin of orange from spherical to flat surface and definitely you have to tear and you have to like stretch certain parts and you can flat it and you can represent it. But still certain parts are like available for us to systematically transfer the information from spherical surface to a planar surface where you can represent your data is required depend upon the purpose and you can show it. This is how the projection works. The projection is an imagination process. Just like drawing a, a shadow of a man. And keep in mind, the shadow, if you are drawing and you need a developable surface, say for example, here road act as a developing surface where a man is walking and his shadow is reflected over the road. Near his foot, the shadow is accurately represented because the developable surface and the object. So both are interacting, intersecting and where the distance or shape or size, everything is accurate. But away from the like object intersection point and the details are highly distorted. Say for example, his foot is represented accurately but his like a body or head is distorted because it is away from developing surface. But still, this three-dimensional future is projected on the flat surface systematically and by tracing his shadow, you can show him his shape and other things. The same approach is applied in systematic transformation of spherical globe into flat surface. By imagining, there is a light in center of a transparent globe, the globe is made up of gravity fields. 
and this globe is covered by a piece of paper in the form of cylinder, in the form of cone, in the form of plane. And this eliminating light rays, creating shadow of the graticles, the graticles fall over the piece of paper and the shadows, you can trace it over a cylinder, over a cone, over a planar surface and after tracing it out, you can cut and you can open and you can able to have the flat. Keep in mind, so wherever the globe touches the developing surface, the distortion is less because both are like interacting or touches each other and no distortion. But away from developable surface, the object is away from developable surface and you will find the more distortions. Although it systematically transformed from spherical surface to flat surface, but you could find some amount of distortions. So, a yeah, map projection is a yeah, mathematical model, what we imagined and we can like reproduce in a form of mathematical model to convert locations of a three-dimensional earth surface to a two-dimensional map representation. The projected flat map can have a true characteristics of any of the properties. Either you can maintain very properly or very correctly the area or the direction or the shape or the distance. But keep in mind, you can't never truly represent all these characteristics in a single projection. So definitely the map projections distort some aspects of the earth surface, either of area or shape or distance or directions. And the amount of distortions always depends on the area you cover. Say for example, if you are covering more and more area and more and more distortions you can expect. And if you are projecting only a smaller area, say for example, part of a city or part of a country or part of a region, then the amount of distortions will be less. Therefore, if you are projecting entire globe in a single flat surface and the amount of distortions will be more. And if you are projecting only a smaller like a pocket of the earth surface, then the amount of distortions will be less. In addition to the aerial coverage, each projection has a own set of and own set of advantages and disadvantages. Some projections minimize the distortions of one property and maximize the errors in other properties. Some projections will like moderately distorts all the properties in order to have a compromise. So there are true characteristics of certain like projection properties and there are like moderately distorting map projection systems. We will discuss all in upcoming slides. But keep in mind that there is no best projections in the world because all the projections are best to represent intended characteristics. So only our choices. So your choices may be good or your choices may be poor. So depend upon uh, developing surface, the projections can be classified into cylindrical projections, conical projections and planar projections. Cylindrical projections cover the globe with a cylinder, conical cover with a cone and planar cover with a piece of paper at a particular point. As I told you earlier, it's a matter of developing a, the third dimensional into two dimensional using a, a developable surface. This developable surface touches the globe and those areas are accurately represented. 
So the cylindrical projections are touching the equatorial regions or equator. So these regions are accurately represented. And whereas towards pole, you can find more amount of distortions. The conical projection systems are touching the mid-latitude regions. So mid-latitude regions are represented accurately, whereas it is highly distorting the poleward regions and equatorial regions. Planar surface touching one part of the surface, especially the poles. So near the poles, the informations are accurate and away from the poles are distorted. Of course, these three broad systems of projections cover the equatorial region, the mid latitude regions, and pole world regions, so that you can cover the whole earth using any one of these stuff. And cylindrical projections normally used to cover the entire globe because the cylinder can able to cover comfortably the entire globe than other two developed surface. So cylindrical projections normally used to represent the entire globe. And here in cylindrical projections, all latitudes and longitudes are shown straight parallels and straight meridians, just like a grid. The conical projections, it's good for half of the globe, which means either northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere, especially the mid latitude regions, because the cone touches the mid latitude regions. Here, the networks are curved parallels and straight meridians. This planar surface is good for a particular, like a point of interest or particular location, especially the poleward regions, because poleward regions, both the projections are not accurately representing. So, this planar projection is widely used for poles, where the like meridians and parallels. Now, the parallels are circular and meridians are straight lines. These broad type of map projections further subdivided in terms of how you are orienting your developable surface. Normally, you are covering the globe in, in this manner, in cylinder like this, the cone like this, and the planar like this. But not necessary, you can also cover the globe by transforming or travel, transversing your like, cylindrical systems, conical systems, and planar systems. So you can rotate your coverage area and you can transfer it. And you can also maintain any angle of your interest to cover a particular portion and you can like represent it. So this broad three type of three types of map projections further subdivided into like a normal transfers and oblique. And of course, the developable surface in general it touches at one point of line or sorry one point or of a line, but it can be also like touches at two locations or two points. So if touches at one point, we call it as a tangent. If it is touches at two points, we call it a secant. So tangents it touches only one point. Where it touches, there is no scale distortions. But whereas mostly distorted towards the periphery. So tangent is good to represent this area accurately, but it is not good to represent this area and this area. In order to have a compromise on the distortions, there are like a second forms of projection systems over cylindrical, conical, and planar, where the like a cylinder or cone or planar is pierced into the globe to touch at two locations here and here. So here and here, no distortions. Here you will find the moderate distortions. Here you will find the moderate distortions, which means you are distributing these errors, this more, most distortions into all the areas. So, depend upon the purpose, you can choose tangent or secant. Say, for example, in standard map projection system, which called tangent systems, only the like one area 
have accurate representation. All other area will be distorted highly. But whereas in secant form, you are distributing the error and see the amount of high distortions, now it's restricted or reduced. Whereas mostly you will find the low and medium. So most of the like world-based systems are of second case or we call it as two standard parallels. Here you have only one standard parallel, here you have two standard parallels. By using two standard parallels, touching at two, two locations, you can able to reduce the amount of distortions. This is applicable to the case of cone also. Say for example here, it touches at two locations, we are distributing the error and reducing the amount of distortions. Even this is applicable to planar also. So, based on developer surface, we are dividing the projection systems broadly into cylinder, cone and planar. And further, we divided into normal, transverse and oblique. And further, we divided into tangent and secant. So likewise, we have at least 18 broad type of map projection systems. And of course, the map projections are like named in terms of what property it is maintaining. Because each main map projections maintain some of the properties in accurate and distort other properties. And some of the map projection systems distort all the properties and accordingly, it has a different name. Let me discuss one by one. The projections which intended to represent area accurately, we call it as equal area projections, where the aerial calculations or aerial representations are accurate. If you look at this map, which is based on cylindrical map projections and cover the entire globe, where the like equatorial regions are represented accurately without much distortions with equal area also. But towards pole, in order to maintain the properties of area, the shape is highly distorted. So you could not find even shape properly here. See the green line if you look at it, you could not find it properly. But this projection is representing the area equal throughout the entire surface. If you want to maintain the property of distance properly from a particular location, say for example from Ghana here and everywhere all the distance I want to represent accurately and you can prefer equidistance map projection system. But this map projection system distorting area and shape greatly. It maintains distance, equidistance but not maintaining other properties. Now my purpose is want to show the directions accurately. Then you can go ahead with azimuthal projections where compass bearing is maintained in all directions from a point. But the shape, the distance, the area all are greatly distorted. Only the direction is maintained. And only for navigation you can use this map but not for representing other like aspects. Now my purpose is I want to show the shape properly. If you want to show the shape properly, those projections we call it as a conformal projections. The conformal projections maintains the shapes of the continents or countries accurately across the map, but it distorts the area. If you look at Antarctica, if you look at Greenland, you can see it is distorting much, but the shape of the local areas are maintained because this projection systems maintaining the property of crossing latitudes and longitudes right angles, at right angles. Hence, the data can be projected using a, like cylindrical projection, planar projection or conical projections by maintaining different properties, either distance or direction or shape or area. And of course, with the help of GIS, we can able to transform from one projection system to another projection system. In simple, you can project your data into different coordinate system very easily with the help of GIS. And of course, each system will produce some amount of distortions and maintain some of the properties. If you look at the 
in the two projection system that called Alba sequel area projections and Lambert conformal conic projections. It's maintaining the properties over the North America because the developable surface touches over the North America and it is maintaining, both the projections are maintaining, but it is distorting away from North America because this projection is like mainly intended to accurate accurately represent this area not this area so these areas are highly distorted so depend upon the area projected depend upon the property projected depend upon the developable surface you will find a different amount of what you call errors or distortions and there are projections which compromise uh, all projection properties in order to reduce the distortion pattern of all properties and show earth like a flat maps and those maps it's not good to represent any one of the properties specifically but good to represent the earth as a whole just for like visualization so those map projections we call it as a pseudo map projections so there are like a map projections of this kind as well Choosing a map projection is depends on the purpose, the property, what you want to maintain, and the extent and location of area. So if you want to represent only a smaller part of the globe, maybe a county or maybe a state, you can choose any projection model of it. You can choose proper standard parallels and you can choose any projection. No, I want to show entire uh, like uh, earth. But then you have to think it off. Which area you want to show very accurately? Low latitude regions you want to show very accurately. You have to choose cylindrical. Mid latitude means you have to choose conical. Polar region means you have to use planar. And depend upon the orientation of your area. If it is east west, you can go ahead with the conical or cylindrical projection. If it is not south, you can rotate the cylinder transverse form of cylindrical you can perform. And if it is circular or rectangular or square, then you can go ahead with the, like a planner for a particular place. And again, the purpose, if you want to maintain direction or if you want to maintain area or if you want to maintain shape, and accordingly, you have to choose projection. So, the map choosing a map projection it depends on these major like points size of area latitude of area of interest shape of area of interest and the purpose in addition to these traditional map projections we have a new map projection based coordinate system that we call it as universal transverse mercator coordinate system this is not a projection system rather it is a coordinate system and which is widely used and we will also look at what it is the universal transverse mercator utm coordinate system is a is based on a yeah, transverse secant cylindrical projection which means it covers the globe in a transverse form from pole to pole with a second which means it touches at two locations one at 80 degree like a south from 80 degree south latitude to 84 degree north latitudes so using these systems the earth is divided into six degree zones which means instead of cover the whole earth with the single projection system rather these systems peel only one or smaller portion of the earth just like a peeling orange a yes, smaller piece by smaller piece so that you can peel the entire like orange with the smaller smaller threads and finally you can spread all the thread to show the entire like skin of the orange so similar to that it's just like taking out uh, like a, a smaller portion by smaller portion and all the portions are connected with a systematic arrangement and that we call it as UTM zone numbers. Here the earth is 
divided into 60 zones spanning 6 degree of like longitudinal extent and each zone is numbered sequently from 1 to 60. It starts from international dateline. Say for example, this is the first zone, first to 6 degree and second zone, third zone, fourth zone like. Okay. So depend upon the area you want to show accurately, you can choose the zone, particular zone so that you can able to like show it. Say for example, I want to show the land and you can choose the zone number 29. I want to like accurately represent, say for example, the New York, you can choose zone number 18. So like, so which zone you want to project it accurately and those like coordinate system you can take and you can represent it. The advantage of this projection system, it covers only a smaller portion of the earth, just like a three degree from the central meridian to this direction and this direction, only three degree this and three degree this side, which means all the areas are accurately represented because the error is less than 0.04%, which means that all the areas are truly represented and it is very good to represent a smaller portion of the earth. In order to have easy calculations with these systems, these UTM coordinate systems are in meters, which help us to accurately measure the distance between two points very easily. And another important characteristic of this system is all readings are positive by assigning the origin point somewhere here. In a normal Cartesian coordinate system, if you look at, it is divided like this, where one quadrant with the positives, all x values and y values are positives, but other quadrants all with negatives. So only this quadrant is positive. In order to make all the values are positive in this system, the origin point, the natural origin of the coordinate system is shifted from this point to somewhere here. Okay. So by assigning false northing and false east, which means by default, this center point will have a coordinate value that is 500,000 and 10 million. So by assigning 500,000 and 10 million to the center point, the origin point will be shifted somewhere here so that all the values are become positives. So instead of minus plus and all these values become positive. So UTM coordinates, all readings are positive. So which is easy for any kind of calculations. You can easily like calculate it. And it is based on conformal projection system, which means even a smaller future will appear with the correct shape and direction in all like directions. So it is very helpful to represent a local area accurately with this coordinate system. And of course, the GPS devices all have uh, the UTM coordinate systems on board. So with the help of GPS, you can directly obtain UTM coordinate values for your locations. So obtaining UTM coordinates also, it's very easy with the help of GPS devices, you can able to get it. But the problem with this system is you can't show the entire country or entire continent in a single coordinate system because it covers only six degree of longitudinal extent. So if it is the area is less than that 60 degree, six degree extent, you can show it otherwise you can't. So for representing, say for example, North Carolina, you can do it, but if you want to represent there, yes, and you can't able to do it, and you need more than one coordinate system, and it is very difficult to visualize all together. So, other than that, this coordinate system is very good, especially to cover a small area. Now, I would like to summarize what we discussed last class and what we discussed today. So, we have a choices of two broad. One is geographic coordinate system, other one is project coordinate system. Geographic coordinate system is good to represent any point on the earth surface accurately on a globe model, 
if you have a globe if you want to represent without any error then definitely you have to go ahead with the geography coordinate system but if you want to show the geography coordinate system on a flat surface with the cartesian coordinate values and definitely the pole world regions are distorted highly and also you have to encounter time consuming arithmetic calculations but this is not a real deal now with the help of gi software you are not going to do it rather system will do it but still system will show you the values in degree minutes and seconds with the degree minutes and seconds understanding the distance and area it's very difficult that's how it creates problem while using with the geography coordinate system but otherwise this is very simple and easy to use whereas a projected coordinate system very good on cartesian plane and calculations are relatively easy you can assign any unit of interest say for example you can use miles you can use meters you can use other like units very easily with this projected coordinate system and if area you want to project it's very smaller or maybe a, a city or like a part of the state where the curvature is less and it can like realistically represent with the proper or two characteristics of all properties including your shape size directions and distance but if you want to represent a larger area and almost every point is in wrong place which is with different locations and all the projections are introduce some kind of errors or distorting like some of the properties it may maintain one property but distorting other properties so you can use geography coordinate system or projected coordinate system just ensuring what's your purpose and whether your data is perfectly matched with the coordinate system you choose on or not so those are of paramount importance with this i just like to stop it lecturing on geographic coordinate system and project coordinate system i would like to show you a short demonstration of projecting your world map with the different coordinate system using a software called ArcGIS. Here you can see the earth is, entire earth is represented. This earth is represented with the coordinate system of Web Mercator pseudo map projection system. And if you click the details, you will find the, the properties it is in projected coordinate system and projection is mercator auxiliary sphere and you will find the, the unit in meters and the standard parallels and the things and coverage how much area it covers so this area you can represent with the different or this map you can represent with the different coordinate system and I will like uh, demonstrate to you if I change a coordinate system, how it affects the shape of the world map. I just start with the geography coordinate system without projecting for entire world. Already we discussed about uh, what you call datum. I am going to use the datum called the WGS 1984, World Geodetic System 1984, which is frequently and widely used geography coordinate system with this data the moment i apply you can see the system transforms its its characters the map characteristics and map is projected on to the sorry map is represented on a flat surface with the geography coordinate system where if you have a like a values in like a decimal degrees or degree minutes and seconds if you move each and every locations you will get the values but the problem is the pole world regions see distorted very highly with this like the coordinate system because it's stretching the point to the like equivalence of length of the equator so that's the problem with the geography coordinate system so instead of this uh, like 
wrong representation so i want to project at least one property very properly so i want to use a projected coordinate system so what you want to project it properly say for example i want to project the world with the proper distance the distance i want to maintain it properly the moment if you click take your distance so from a particular point from ghana or from this this locations the distance are equivalent but it distorts other properties distance only it's correct all other properties are distinct no i don't want to like represent distance rather i want to show the area equally at the moment if you click here the area of the like a area of different continents are maintained or different countries are maintained properly but shape is distorted right now i want to represent very accurately the sh shape say for example conformal projections you can choose and see here the shape is correct the shape of greenland is correct the shape of like madagascar is correct shape of australia shape of north america all correct but area distance directions all distort and of course distortion is more over the equatorial regions so i want to show accurately the equatorial regions and you can go ahead with other projection systems say for example polar projection systems in polar north pole i want to represent it accurately see here the north pole is represented accurately and the distortions may be high over equatorial regions near the equatorial regions not near the pole to represent pole this is good so you can choose this projection and you can show you so this how like the aeroplanes are traveling say for example if you travel from africa to north america and they will used to follow the shortest distance by using like this kind of imaginations or assumptions now i want to show the mid latitude regions somewhere accurately say for example i want to show the europe accurately so i can show the europe accurately now europe become center of the map projection system here europe is represented accurately with this like uh, conical projection systems and other areas are distorted especially if you look at australia see highly distorted the south america highly distorted even africa is distorted highly but europe is represented accurately so you want to show only like these parts of europe and you can prefer this conical projection systems with the properties of equal area now my purpose is not europe i want to show south america accurately then you can so now so this projection systems accurately represent south america and all other regions are distorted so likewise you can choose say for example north america i want to do already we discussed about nad north american data you can use for example this is based on the nad systems of great lakes so here from this center then the areas are represented accurately so likewise you can choose different coordinate system on the fly the gis softwares can transform your data from one system to another system and based on your purpose you can like map it very easily so that's why like understanding this projection system is very important before using gis or before preparing any maps even you can use uh, like uh, utm systems also say for example here utm systems with the different datums i am using wgs data for northern hemisphere 
I told the 18 zone 18 is good for what do you call North America so this zone this zone is like good to represent only like this part so this part is accurately represented and the remaining part you you could not able to see it because it project only one path only this part is like developed or converted systematically into flat model and you can represent it easily so like you can choose a different coordinate systems of different medium zone and you can represent it with this i just stop it and i hope you understand that the fundamentals of geographic coordinate system and projected coordinate system and how to choose geographic system or projected coordinate system thanks for joining thank you see you